What a beautiful thing that engine is. Look at that bad boy. That would be the CP2. Um, God, I, I love this T7 just as much as I did when I first got it. In fact, even more so. I absolutely adore this bike. It's fantastic. Um, oh, look at this. I've got to show you this. If you're going to get one, make sure you get some crash bars. Because they work. Look at them awesome war wounds. Fantastic. Um, I'll need some for my ribs. Because I broke my ribs. <laughs> I'll be back on the bike as soon as I can lift it. Now, whilst I was up in the Flinders, not only did I fall off and break my ribs, but um, I was chatting before that happened with good mate, partner in crime, riding extraordinaire on his T7, Mr. Tom Dawson. Now, Tom has pointed something out. I never even had given it much thought, but this is quite a cool tip. We've found some free storage on the T7. Shall we have a look? This is the right-hand side of the swinging arm. Here, we've got a rubber bung. I've never really given it much thought, as I said. Let's whip it out and have a quick look. Easy enough. It's cavernous. It's hollow. Now, of course, I'm not suggesting we put anything heavy in there or anything loose that can get lost because it's hollow down the legs as well. Now, what I'm thinking is, as an extra little bit of storage, I'm not suggesting you could put stuff in loose, but you could use an old helmet bag. And I'm thinking on the lines of sort of safe, safety gear. You could put a bit of first aid kit in if it's light. But what about, of course, the standard stuff that you need when you go off adventure riding? Tie wraps, always worthwhile. A punch repair kit. Um, in my instance, I'm going to look at something like this. I reckon, and this is Tom's idea... Um, let me look at, let me show you. Now, if you go for a ride for any length of time, you might need to change your air filter. Now, look at that. That's one day's use of the pre-filter, the Unifilter pre-filter. One day's use. Now, you can't take these with you when you go on a ride. You can, but you don't want to be if you can help it. But what if you could take a spare filter? I could get a spare filter in there. What I'm thinking of about doing is putting in, um, like I say, a helmet, an old helmet bag, and just put some lightweight things in that hole. That sponge filter there will squash up, you see, and go into a plastic bag. Because I can't be, cause I can't, can't really be taking cleaner and um, air filter oil with me. So spare air filter or spare pre-filter will go in there. Tie wraps, um, various bits and bats. Just consider what you might personally want to take with you and stick in there. So what I'm going to do is basically make a little bit of kit as long as i can get it through there and it could be it could easily be got oil over my hands off that filter it could easily be like you say tie wraps for steered kit um puncher kit um you could put a gps tracker in there couldn't you if you wanted to but that's a little utilized area and i'm not i'm not i'm not suggesting put anything heavy in there or anything loose it needs to be lightweight preferably squashable or small enough to go through that gap and in a bag and then you could attach like a little bit of a tether, which you could still maybe poke through the hole, or through a hole into the rubber there. Just a tiny little tether that would go straight out and attach to this little framework here. So you're not gonna lose it, uh, like a camera lens tether or something. So then when you take this off, you can get your tether, you can pull your bag out. I just think it'd be a cool idea to use and utilize this spot. What do you think you could put in there? It's all personal stuff, really, but you, this, it's just a little utilised spot that you need to be uh, considering. Because as adventure riders, we're always looking to carry more shit and have accessories, have a spare parts. And these air filters, as you could see with that one, if that's a day's use and I'm travelling for two or three k's in the bush without a service facility, I'm going to need to either get that cleaned or take it off completely and just use the standard air filter and not have a pre-filter, which is not ideal for our conditions. Um, obviously, these are the pre-filter made by Unifilter, as you can see, and the Aussie bikes, the Aussie T7s, have been given an upgrade 
Uh, I think there's a couple of other countries that are getting the same treatment as well. We're getting a, an upgrade in the air filter department because of the conditions that we get to ride in. So for me, I'll be putting a, an air filter in there, sorry, a pre-filter for the air filter from Unifilter in there, some tie wraps and maybe $50. You know what I mean? Just as a get out of jail uh, kit inside there. Just nice light stuff in a helmet bag. Put the plug back in, tether it to something so you don't lose it inside the swinging arm. And it's uh, a bit of extra storage. And it might just get you out of jail. I used a couple of tie wraps the other day, looking up at my handlebar grips, because my handlebar twist grip glue came loose whilst I was stuck in stand and sand and I couldn't get I couldn't get any power and I couldn't understand why I mean, I mean my wrists right down I'm stuck up to my arse in sand and I couldn't get any power and I realised my, my, my throttle was actually just spinning around on the uh, plastic sleeve so I managed to thankfully I took some tie wraps with me and I managed to get my the vice grips on and nip the uh, rubber to the plastic twist sleeve on the accelerator on a throttle hand so i needed my tie wraps so they're always worthwhile carrying and if you've got a bit of an extra spot such as in there just for a few bits and bats it's a cool idea just utilize that um if you can think of a reason why not to please say so but i don't see any reason why we can't use that space as long as we don't lose anything in there so you, you do need some insurance you need like put stuff in a bag that you can get that's not going to get lost inside the swinging now. But I think it'd be a cracking spot to use. So thanks for watching everybody. I'm Neil, the Rider Guider. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I would much appreciate it. Keep coming back for more stuff on my channel along with Mrs. Rider Guider. We've got some big things happening in the future. Stay safe.